Hi, I'm Ryan, and I'm a student in the FAF laboratory at the Salk Institute. I'm a PhD student in the bioengineering program at Jacobs School of Engineering and an MD PhD student at the School of Medicine at UC San Diego. Today, I'm sharing my project toward a genetic therapy for Duchenne muscular dystrophy by RNA end joining. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a fatal genetic disease caused by a dysfunctional coding sequence of the dystrophin gene on the X chromosome. It has a major structural role in skeletal and cardiac muscle and affects approximately one in 3,500 male births. The disease is quite severe. By age 12, these patients uh, have limb paralysis and are wheelchair bound. And by age 26, many of them have cardiac and diaphragmatic failure leading to death. To date, there is no effective treatment or cure. Gene therapy is an emerging and exciting field that aims to treat these kinds of genetic disorders at the level of DNA. There are two major approaches, gene replacement, where you supplement to the patient a healthy copy of the gene. And of course, there's gene editing, where you use a CRISPR-Cas9 system to edit the genes directly. However, both of these approaches are majorly constrained today by a 4.7 kilobase size constraint by the AAV cargo capacity, which is the gold standard. The FAF lab has developed a powerful and exciting new technology called RNA end joining, which overcomes this issue. In short, large genes are split up into fragments and then delivered to cells. Inside the cell, these fragments are expressed as RNAs and then spliced together by the spliceosome, which recovers the full length genes. And this allows you to deliver in a very robust and specific manner, uh, large genes. We use this technology to design and develop three candidate therapies a mini dystrophin, a full length dystrophin, and a CRISPR Cas9 based system, uh, which is a base editor. We delivered each of these candidate therapies to mice that have Duchenne muscular dystrophy, and the results are very exciting. Um, in short, in this picture, you can see a mouse muscle which was not treated, which has degenerated and has scarring. However, on this muscle, which was treated, you can see it's pink and very healthy. We also did RNA sequencing to show transcriptomic improvements from these therapies, and I developed a computer vision pipeline to show from immunohistochemistry quantitative morphological and protein restoration. The next steps will be functional measurements of skeletal, cardiac, and diaphragm muscles. We believe this project lays the foundation for eventual trials in higher mammals, eventual clinical trials, and towards a potential cure for this fatal disease. Thank you.